Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Barrow Hill, the Dark Path. In the last episode we learned that the three students, uh, Mia, Oli and Gus, I, I think were, the, were their names. So so the reason why th those students uh, came here was because they wanted, they wanted to make their wishes to piles of rocks, basically. Actually no, I think they made some kind of a, a ritual where they, where they then made their uh, some sort of Actually, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure that they make any real uh, sacrifices of any kind, or did they, or did they? Well, actually, not sacrifices. That that sounds a bit too much. Uh, offerings. Yeah, I'm not sure if they gave any actual offerings, but but whatever. So they basically made their own wishes. Mia wants to find out what happened to her brother. Uh, the brother was the Ben guy from the first game who was at the service station. And then uh, Ali, I think, was the nerd who basically wants to win Mia's love. Yeah, what a nerd. I know. And then uh, Gus, I think her, I think his, what did I say, her? So his mother was sick, and I, and I guess that he, he wished that her, that his, why do I keep saying her? So basically, he wished that his mother would um, uh, be become healthy again, or something like that. I don't know. So, so that's what we learned in the in the last episode. And also, if I'm not mistaken, Gus and Ollie are supposed to be inside the service station, and they are trapped. And and Ollie actually called us. I, I I don't know how he I don't know how he knew about us, but hey, he called. So he called us, and I and I think I think he basically uh, I think he basically told us to call the uh, to call the, sec the the security because uh, because because this place is abandoned, but there are still some security cameras here to uh, where, where the secu so that so that the security guys can make sure that there is no vandalism or any intruders in this area and so far they're doing a terrible job at that so anyway so only so only wanted us to contact the contact the, the security so so the guy could could come here and help them out and we did try to do that but I wasn't exactly sure how to do that and what else there, there was one thing one other thing that we did oh yeah we also managed to as you can see uh, get the lights back up by uh, by by fixing the wires in that in the power box uh, behind this building. That's pretty much everything, I think. So, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game. And let's try this again. So here... So here we have to call the... Uh, contact... Goshak... Security. Yeah, the security. So we basically have to... Uh, have to call the security by using this phone. Hello, Gosalk Security. Enter your site address. Two letters, four numbers. Take your time. I've nothing better to do. Okay, so so he wants us to uh, to type uh, two letters and then four uh, four numbers, and and it's over here. B H as in Barrow Hill. But I don't. But I don't know if I'm. But I don't know exactly how 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 do I know that 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 I am typing the well not typing but how do I know that 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 I'm giving giving him first the letters and then numbers because when I let's see I I assume that I'm have to press this either twice or three times to get the B. Nothing is happening. Let's let's see. Did it come here? No, it doesn't come anywhere. It does. The numbers and letters don't even appear here. So I have, and that, uh, that that nullifies it, I guess. Okay, so let's try this again. So let's assume that we have to uh, click this. Mm, I think it's three times. First comes the number, then H, and then B. Up uh, H A. First comes number two, then A and B. Okay, so one, two, two, three. Okay, so one, two. Three. That should, should that should, that should be B. Then H. One, two, three. Okay. And then comes numbers. Two, six, seven, three. Okay. Now what? I have to press the phone or uh, one one of these three. I did try these two last time, but I don't think think that it did anything. So how about zero? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's try again. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, and two, six, seven, three. I have no fucking idea how to use this. Is there anything else that we have to use? Anything else that we have to click here? And there is no mm, error codes. Well, he did say the two letters and four numbers, right? So, so he just so he doesn't want any of these. Right? Uh, let's leave for a moment. I didn't want to come here. So let's listen. Hello, Gorsalk Security. Enter your site address. Two letters, four numbers. Yeah, four numbers. Take your time, I've nothing better to do. Okay, I really don't know how to use this. Hmm. Well, let's try one more time. So, I might have to. I might have to. Maybe I'm have to only click this two times. So first we get A and then B. I don't know. Let's see. Although I think we uh, have already tried this. By the way, that's. Hmm. But if that's the case, then, then I would have to click these four times to get the number. Well, let's fucking try that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, then it's with one of these. Am I supposed to click? Ah, whatever. Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't know. I don't know how to use that thing. There's, there's also this, but but we can't use this to call or anything. There's a voice message there, but that's pretty much it. And in that voice message, uh, actually, the the lady there mentioned the mentioned a key, which we actually have in our inventory. And this key should lead to the garage here, over here. So there we go. Let's see. You're listening to Emma Harry on Barrow Hill Radio. This autumn equinox. Who left the, We've left got the radio a caller on, on the line. Mm -hmm. Hello, you're on the air with BHR. This is Lady Tregowan of Barrow Moor. My land backs on to the old Barrow Hill. We've never touched it. Not once. Not ever. <laughs> Shush! Quiet down! Mummy's on the phone! Some sort of superstition? It's Baben's world! Meaning? It's a place for the dead! Baben? B-A-I-B-I-N Baben, silly dolt! Legend has it that she presided over the burrows! Back in the days of early farming. The, um, late Bronze Age. Yes, well done. She was the last to be buried on Old Barrow Hill. What? You mean her body is still up there? Oh, absolutely. She picked a good spot, too. Where? Get down, Bernard! Bernard, come back here at once! I don't like the sound of this. Bernard! Hello? Hello, caller? Are you... Baben, Baben, Baben. There, I've said it now. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? As for you other folks, I've got a fabulous track coming up. Okay. Well, that didn't sound very good. Poor old lady. And yet another dog is going to be hurt in this game. Damn you, developers. Oh, at least I assume that's what happened. What do we have here? Oh, there's lots of tools here. But apparently we have to use something here. Oh, screwdriver. Ah, we got, got a screwdriver. Nice. Where was it that we needed to use it? 
Oh yeah, I think it was. I I think it was at the a phone mast where we needed that. Good. Oh, there's a needle. Okay. Uh, anything else that we can pick up? This hammer or these small horseshoes? Oh, I didn't want, didn't want to leave just yet. Okay, so... Can I... Yes, I can bring some of my items here. But can I do... Can I use anything here? Let's see, what do, what do I have? I don't think I have anything that I can use here. Or oh, something that, man, that I need to, I don't know, fix or something. Get over the car store, okay. Let's get those vibes flowing. Can we open this? Well, we can get through that, I guess. Oh wait, can we? I guess not. We are too fat to get through this. Okay. Oh, they don't want to use the pencils. Mm. Don't know. We could use an. Why are you? Why are you pulling that back? Back to the front. Well, anyway, maybe we need an axe or something so we can uh, make the hole even bigger. Mm. Uh, doing it directly. I have no idea. I, I, I guess it means directly. Whatever that, whatever that is. Looks like a power button to me. Does that sound come from the radio? And what's this? Another power box or something? Aha! Well, I don't know what it is, but we're gonna use this bad boy on those screws. Two hundred and forty volts. Oh wait, uh, is it volts or vats? Oh, yeah, I think it's vats. Yeah. So, so I guess we have to uh, tone this town to down to uh, two hundred and forty. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. I don't know what it did, but it did something. Can we use the... I did, actually, what's here? Is there anything in the shelf? No. Nope. And that's the workbench. We can't use the ladders to get upstairs. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Oh! You're what? listening to the fabulous Emma What's Harry that? on BHR. Green, yellow. It's been ten the, years uh, since the event at Barrow Hill, known locally I don't know what that is. 306, where many people lost their lives that night. Yet the cover-up continues, hmm. and I, like many, am still searching for Oh wait, I think I know what I know what that is now, but I forgot what I it, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's that, I didn't uh, it's that thing on the wall where you, uh, where you, where you put. Where you put your it's hard to explain the wires to and stuff too, so you can believe. get the power. Those who don't know Barrow oh, cables Hill. rather than the wires. So that's so, so that's Ray the thing on the wall that where you put the uh, where you stuck your uh, cables in, so you can get the power. But I forgot what they are called. Okay. Hey, I don't know if that's important or not. It's these new pure uh, shut up for now, please. <sighs> Uh, how can I turn off this thing? There we go. Okay, so what do we have here? Ah, we can move the car up, up and down, I guess. Well, let's see. That looks kind of cool, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Mm, can I? Aha! There is A D H. There's some keys down there. A D H. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what those 
I don't know, know what those letters are referring to. The, nothing comes to my mind right now. But do I have anything that I can use to get those keys out of there? No. I need that. I need some sort of a hook or something. Slingshot? Slings, slingshot? Nope. How about, I don't know, uh, rocks? Oh, did you want to look at them? Nope. Calm? Nope. This tube, uh, gem with a chain? Nope. Okay, so we don't have anything. We don't have the item that we need to get that. To get those keys from there. What does this do, I wonder? It crashes this down. Okay. Okay, so let's lift that up. Mm. There was this needle thingy, but what are we supposed to do with this? Can't we? And there's some. Uh, uh, what, and there's some. What do you call, call these uh, strings? Couldn't, um, couldn't we just get some of that and and, get, and, and, and make it go through that uh, round ring at the bottom of the needle? Does it look like it? No. I guess I have to make a hook, uh, some sort of a hook kind of item myself at this workbench when I get the right item spoiled or something. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. That... I, 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 said, I said in the last episode that, 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 that we need something like a crowbar for this grill thingy. Fuck yes. Okay, so we have got two very important items that we need to proceed. So, let's go to one of those places. So to the woods we go. Let's see. Now let's see if I can actually find those damn places again. Either the picnic area or the or the phone mast. Oh, this wasn't here last time when I was here. I was here last time, right? Oh, and who or what is watching me right now? Well, well, let's just. I don't know, ignore them or something. I hope that they are. Aha, uh -huh, another sim card. Barrow Farm. Okay. I hope that they are not wolves or something. Uh, this is not where I wanted to come. Let's see, where is it? map to see where I am? No. Aha, here we go. And here we need, we can use the screwdriver, right? There we go. And there's Gus's signature. Aha. Uh -huh. So he, uh, so so he stuffed his, I don't know, iPhone, iPad, whatever the fuck that is, and then and then he, and then he is and then he's uh, what do you call them? Uh, those ear things. MP3 player. Ah, so that's what it is. So th so that's why I was hearing yeah hearing his message all this time. Anything else? Nope. Anything else that I want to do here? Nope. Does it look like it? Now what to do with this? Oh, I didn't want to look at that. I guess there's nothing we can do with this thing. Not on its own anyway. 
Okay, and we are back here. And now let's go to... Now let's go and try to find the picnic area. Earplugs. Yeah, that's what they were, that, that's what they were called. Earplugs, right? I'm not confusing. I'm, I'm not confusing it to any some something else. Okay, so picnic. Oh, ah, it's Emma. Do, do, do you feel it? Some change in the atmosphere. It's similar to that feeling from before. Something is awake. Something, someone. Well, it's that was laid to rest and should have been left undisturbed. Something like you that. You can feel it too. I know you can. Well, it's as creepy it just as the before. Equinox? I, I, I need you. We all do. Please investigate. Yeah, Help yeah. put things right again. So she, so she didn't have anything useful to say. Fine. Just babbling about how how some how something has awoken again and how everything is creepy and shit. Okay, and this is where we use the a uh, crowbar, so we can get poor Ollie's glasses out of there. Hmm? Use them crowbar. What the? Why can't I use a crowbar here? Oh, is it this? Is it the screwdriver that I need to use? No. What the? What could? What else could I possibly? What could I possibly need to in order to get the get this thing off? Ah, go back. Why is this not working? Why can't I use a crowbar to get this crate off? Okay, do I have anything else that I could use? We can't get the glasses. Uh, out uh, through through the crate. Hmm. Okay, folks. Looks like we have to find some other item in order to remove that thing. I might not want to look at it. Go away. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go back. Somewhere. So. Now. Where to go? What could we do next? Ah, oh, then. There's a bloody... Uh, hand grief or something. There's a... I think it was a... Well here. Yeah, there's some sort of a... Wishing well here. So let's go back to the... Ah, uh, not here. Not here. To the service station. I I guess we have to try to get the keys uh, from the uh, uh, from under the uh, floor, but I don't know yet that's how we can get it. And this thing thing is still up. Good. It doesn't reset it re reset itself and go back to the ground. I will have to go up there and see what's there. But it looks like that's not an option. Does it look like that's an option? A menu. Go away. I wonder, is there anything else that I can do or pick up here? Is there anything under the car? Uh, besides the keys, of course. Does it look like it? We have to make something here, I guess. Well, can I... I don't know. Mm. Oh wait, how can I use a crowbar? It is kind of like a hook-like hook, hook -like item, in a sense. Maybe I can use that. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I can't use even the crowbar even here. And I thought that crowbar was going to be the most one of the most useful useful items in this game, but apparently not. And I got three SIM cards now, and they are all about the 
Arrow Hill Farm or something. I want. I'm wondering, uh, should I play this? But then again, we haven't really run into any cameras where we can uh, put them in. And we can't look into. Oh yeah, there's a laptop in the in the cave where and where we were in the last episode. There's a laptop there, but we can't we can't look into the look in there because we don't know the password. Oh wait, wait. Can we use the crowbar to to make a bigger hole to the door here? Yeah, move this thing away. No, use the crow crowbar on that door. Or should we just go closer first? What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You can't even use a crowbar here. And we can't... I was going to say that we can't interact with uh, anything. We can't interact with anything on, on the out... Uh, on the outside. Can't interact with anything outside. Can't use the screwdriver. Can't use the crowbar. I didn't want to look at it. I don't think I have anything else that I can use here. Oh wait, now I think I know what these rocks are for. They are for that sling sh uh, slingshot, I think. I mean, we need we need some sort of ammunition. I didn't want to watch. Now look at this. After all, we do need some sort of uh, ammunition. Okay, okay. Oh. I think we have to make some sort of a hook-like item with these things, but... Oh, I didn't want to do that. So... Maybe I have to com try to combine every one of these goddamn I items here until one, of until one of them does something. Oh, goddammit, I didn't want to... Yeah, yeah. Creepy. Pencils. Nope. Screwdriver. Nope. Crowbar. Oh, wait. Hmm, maybe we have to use these horse, uh, horseshoes to... Because this... Because these things took me magnets. Actually, I, I think that I think that these things are magnets because they are way too small to be uh, horseshoes, but they are shaped like horseshoes, so I just assumed. So anyway, so m maybe these are just magnets, and we have to use one of these magnets to get the keys from uh, from um, under the floor. That's what I think what we have to do. But okay, so we got this, but okay, <laughs> we put the needle in there. Oh, I didn't want to leave though. So that's there. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. Fishy magnet. There we go. Damn, I'm so smart. Point and click, point and click adventure games make me feel smart. Okay, so now we fish this bad boy out of there. Oh, I'm have to, oh, I'm moving it myself. Okay. Oh. There. Car boot keys. So wait. So are, so are they keys to this car? Well, let's lower it down. Okay. Okay, maybe it, maybe 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 we can use it on the trunk. Uh huh. No, there's lots of stuff here. Okay, okay, okay. There's a couple of photos of a. Mm, wait, I think that's the. Well, I forgot her name, but I believe that maybe this is the 
female archaeologist who came to uh, research the uh, to, uh, do some uh, archae archaeological research uh, in Barrow Hill, but then she uh, disappeared. This could be Conrad Morse. I, I remember him from the, from the first game. He was also an archaeologist. Possibly. That's a fancy looking necklace you got there. I don't know why, but these glasses look so fake. Okay. What else do we have here? Akata Tun Harker. Was that her name? January 28, 1965. Safe landing back in Blightly. Nasty storm over Calcutta. And that awful woman from the VNA was near hysterical. I took all my uh, reserve not to slap the silly creature. Glad to be back. The so-called tomb of Manotep turned out to be nothing more than an old tantalite mine. Rather disappointing. Ah, so she was in Egypt. I was thinking that tomb of Manotep sounds like sounds very Egyptian. I need something to get me back in business. Something more predictable and lucrative. Cornwall is always good for a few trinkets. I'll talk to the RS tomorrow, throw in a few mentions of King Arthur, and they'll provide some funding. Hmm, I was just wondering what is this? Grave goods. One, a small dagger, a bone-handled uh, athen. There is evidence to suggest that this was a practical, rather than ceremonial, object used by the woman during her life and then buried with her. It is interesting to note that, the, that this Scoring and marks on the blade indicate the knife had many uses and functions. 2. An, an earthen... Uh, what? Earthenware bowl. A container for food. The food is to provide nourishment. Well, thanks, I didn't know that. In the afterlife. Well, okay, in the afterlife. Okay, fine. A quick look at the contents revealed small bird bones at the bottom. Most, pro most probably wild, uh, fowl or game. 3. A sturdy decorated beaker, no doubt containing a, containing a fermented brew, to provide warmth and to read the passage to the other, other world. The hot liquid would restore energy and inv invigorate the senses. I had a good uh, sniff around the contents and picked up a uh, I picked up on hints of heather and barley, but that could be my fanciful imagination. 4. A beautiful piece of Bronze Age jewelry. A glass ball contained, contained with a round bronze cla clasp, with a thread metal chain. Exquisite. This is a high status find, suggesting the body is that of someone adored or feared by her community. Okay, so, may so maybe this. Maybe, so maybe th those were the items that were buried, along with the player witch. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm still gonna continue con calling the witch as a player witch because this reminds me of player witch so much. Okay, February third, nineteen sixty-five. I have, I have borrowed on on a permanent basis. So in, so in other words, you stole. An intriguing old volume by the Royal Society, a collection of surveys from 1854, covering unexcavated areas of Cornwall. The chaps who conducted the survey were in rather a tis about the Barrow Hill area. Okay, corn. So that's Cornwall's map. Okay. Barrow Hill is an area of great archaeological interest. An unknown number of bar barrow grave cairns, surveys, grave goods, and cyst burials around 4000 BC, high status graves, babin, bibin. Oh, yeah, that, that was uh, the old lady uh, uh, on the radio mentioned this. Find mention of B in Celtic mythology. Royal Society survey MDCCCLIV. Apparently, it's positively popping with potential finds. It's never been excavated, not in mo modernity at least. Old farty archaeologists, Bond and Bond and Borlase, seem to have skipped past the area, which is rather careless. Or perhaps the old stories about Bybin scared them off. Their loss is my gain. 
That means it's ripe, for, it's ripe for the digging. Time to fire up the motor. Next stop, Cornwall. April 4th, 1965. I plan to make a full survey of the area from the swamps to the south, to the stone circle at the top of the hill. My predecessors, those kings and surveyors, were spot on about Barrow Hill. April 4th. Uh, and does it say NR Motel? Well, I guess. Uh, there are several sites of interest, interest from the Stone Age to the Iron Age. I plan to make a full renaissance tomorrow at first light. A uh, renaissance. A record, record not. Recognize sons tomorrow. Okay. April 7th, 1965. Borough Quit is an is a fascinating stone structure. Sadly, it has been stripped of, stripped of its earth mound and is located rather uncomfortably next to a new service station. Which has ruined on otherwise pretty little corner of Cornwall. That's modernity for you. Handy motel though, and I have and have decent Cornish breakfast in the little in the little cafe. Barrow quit before the earth mound was removed. Okay. Four thousand years ago, the quit was a place of great importance to the Cornish clans. Originally, the stones were covered by a huge mound of earth. Inside of an early Bronze Age burial mound. Mm -hmm. The stone doorway would have been the only entrance. Inside, the skulls and remains of the ancient ancestors were, were kept along with grave goods in a place of the dead, usually overseen by the clan shaman or seer. They spent their days and nights with the dead, communing and connecting with the past. It is easy to imagine how such figures were seen by the community. Otherworldly, powerful, Magical. Perhaps even the Bybin myth finds some truth here at Barrow Hill. April 13th, 1965. It's been two weeks now. Good, solid, honest archaeology. In other words, not very lucrative. There have been some fabulous breaker finds, some Stone Age tools, and a charming Iron Age brush hidden in the hidden in the brackish water of the old spring. And these are the items that were found, I guess. Some bowels and a maybe a stone carving of a boar and a look and something that looks like an arrowhead. There's evidence that the pool, known locally as the Druid's Pool, has been a place of worship since the Bronze Age. Of fairings, usually in the in the form of prized items such as jewelry, metal tableware or weapons were tossed into the water to appease the gods who dwelt in the other world, the world reflected in the water. What's that? I wonder. And is this from is this is this from the bottom of the pond or pool rather? Well, I wonder what other treasures hide deep in the water. Time to go fishing. April twenty first, nineteen sixty five. An angry mob. Oh, it was the damn protesters, damn those hippies. I was harassed by a few toothless local farmers this, this afternoon. Ah, oh, so they were local farmers. They were not happy about my dig, but I placated them with a few notes. Uh, thank, thank RS, and promised to leave the actual burials intact and undisturbed. A white lie, but still, but still a lie. I was told in no uncertain terms that any digging at Barrow Hill would not be good for my health. It was a personal threat. I don't think that they were. I was. They were threatening you. Well, at, at least not. At least not in the sense that they would. They would come and hurt you, because something else will do it. Will do it instead. Something supernatural. But anyway, after admitting that, that I would not. That I had. I had not heard of Barrow Farm. They seemed to be relieved and made their way back down the le lane to Wickwood. Grave robber, stop picking up the dead. Bybin sees. Bybin knows. She sleeps in the green. You have been warned. Stop the digging. April 22nd, 1965. A clue. It was hard to locate, but an old 17th century map pla places Barrow, Barrow Farm towards the northeast corner of the wood. It's hellishly overgrown in the north woods, so there is every possibility that an old building could be lurking in the ivy and uh, bindweed. I'll, di I'll dig out the machete. 
Okay, so that's the stone circle from the first game, I assume. Stone roll, quit, spring, barrel farm, and a barn. Mm -hmm. April 24th, 1965. Inf incredible. I found the farm. It's a ramshackle old place, stone built to last, with a doorway looking suspiciously like an old barrow entrance. Two upright st stones, a solid stone lin lintel, and further mo monoliths incorporated into the walls of the building. They built the farm, uh, smack, smack in the middle of an old burial barrow. The front door was locked, which, w which was a cause of alarm. Does someone still live at Barrow Farm? There was no answer, so I tried a window. I opened after a little encouragement. No one home. Not for a while. It looks like no one has settled at Barrow Farm since the war. There is a strong temptation to start digging straight away, but I must wait for permission from the Royal Society. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. And then these are pictures from that house, I guess. Now this looks like a very interesting looking uh, rocks. That actually looks kind of nice. Kind of neat. April 29th, 1965. At last, I have my permission. I wonder whose bones rest beneath the soil. All the finds uncovered on Barrow Hill suggest, suggest this was a place of high status. Burials. Perhaps even the rulers, kings and queens of the Bronze Age world. Of course there is rumor, a more of a myth really, that the legendary Celtic witch Bybin is buried where I hear about. Ah, so the player which is called Bybin, okay. If such a creature existed, I will be the first to gaze upon her in over 2000 years. And some random symbol. Barrow Farm, 1854. Okay. Looks like a looks like a cute, cute little house. Those who sleep beneath the earth must be left left to do so. To wake Bybin will end us all. You must leave now before it's too late. Trouble at the deck. The local Cornish folk are are fuming, cursing me in their old language. Some idiot from the service station has has blabbed blab about my plans to dig up the floor of Barrow Farm. I just know there is something underneath. It's the se it's the center of the original barrow, so there's every chance there are remains or grave goods hidden below. But now, it's impossible. These silly superstitious fools know nothing about archaeology. Perhaps under the cover of darkness. May 1st, 1965. A body. A Brunch Age burial. I knew it. You have still you have still got it, Aki. I must be quick and complete my survey. So there was a body found there? Or well or a skeleton rather. And uh something that looks like a mo like a Well I don't know I don't know if, if this is a sacrificial knife because it, it got, looks kinda practical. Well this ring thing in here is kinda weird, but whatever. The body is in moderate condition, given the age. The chest cavity has collapsed over time, flattening the overall appearance of the body, which looks to be that of a young woman. I have encountered high status female burials before, but nothing like this. And then some real pictures. There's the knife. <laughs> this knife looks so fake in here. Someone obviously photoshopped that. Okay. Can I read these notes? No, I can't. It's the font is too small. Okay. I must admit that this will sound rather daft after daybreak, but I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. I don't feel alone. At first, I thought one of the local farmers might be trying to unsettle me, get me to flee the the old farm, screaming. Not me. But still, I can shake the feeling that someone else is present here at Barrow Farm. May 1st, 1965, midnight. There is someone here. I heard a voice, a girl's voice, here at the farm. I heard singing, a sad, uh, plaintive song. I am starting to wonder, starting to doubt myself. Is there someone here? Is it just paranoia? Or is it... Bybin? 
the witch. May 2nd, 1965. Something happened. Something I cannot explain. The body, the corpse inside the farm, it moved. I saw it myself. The damn thing moved. The arms, just a small twitch at first, becoming unnatural spams. The arms, they reached up, up round my throat. There is nothing to explain it. The body was alive. Just the moment I saw it move, it gra grabbed me. Is it her? Is it possible? There was a struggle. It was dark. I felt the old bone around my neck. There was a snapping sound. I fought to get my balance and tumbled the arms. And tumbled. The arms were destroyed, broken into thousands of splintered fragments. I hastily reburied the remains, but I am keeping the finds. They are too precious to leave. I will not surrender them. I am leaving immediately. I should have listened. And you don't mention about... about this picture? Where we can see the ghost and shit? Okay, that was that, by the looks of things. Okay, that was an interesting read. Oh, I'm more... More stuff to read. Okay, but before that... Number 4, 3, 1, 2... That's gonna be important, I think. Celtica Aids of Mystery by Orwin uh, Craig, o Craig Owen. Jesus Christ, how, how much stuff there is to read? And we got a trouble, okay. I wonder if it's a trouble that we have to use on the grill. And there's another one, but yeah, we don't, we don't need another one, I guess. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Any other items that I want to pick up? Okay, well... Let's read this before I end the... I think I'm going to end the episode after once I have read, read this. Title... End of Cornwall, Royal Society Survey, 1854. Uh, volume 106, 176 of 350. Date withdrawn, 13 January 1965. Reason for withdrawal, research for potential new... R.S. Dick in the Barrow Hill area, Agatha Turn Harker. Okay. Barrow Hill. Perched on the edge of Barrow Moor, between St. Awful and Saw Point, Barrow Hill is an area of great archaeological interest, boasting several Neolithic and Bronze Age sites. There is a mention of a Barrow Farm in the Doomsday Book, suggesting ha habitation at some point in the Middle Ages, although no sign of the farm or any sign of was was made on the recent visit by this journal. As well as the impressive stone circle which crowns the hill, there is also evidence of a, of a wider circle surrounding the hill, though many are obscured by Cornish hedge, many of which date from antiquity and Cornish stitch farming. It is impossible, at present, to state how many significant monuments are present at Barrow Hill. To this date, the hill has been ignored or remains dis undiscovered by Bond, Porlas et Porlas et all, leading this journal to suggest an immediate acknowledgement of the ro Royal Society. The impression, based on similar sites such as Avebury and Stanton Drew, is that Barrow Hill was once the center of intense Neolithic activity, with an unknown number of barrows, grave cairns, and cis cist burials around 4000 BC. Later in the Bronze Age, 2000 BC, stone circles, dolmens, and megaliths were added to the existing complex of ceremonial structures, uh, creating a place of obvious astronomical or, or religious focus. It is a concern of this journal that, that the many treasures that hide beneath the soil will become the target of great robbers and treasure hunters. It is a small miracle that the barrows have not been disturbed by farming or industrialization. The Cornish people fear the hill, as a place of dark worship and death, which may explain the lack of uh, medieval grave robbing. In nearby Wick Wickwood, the local folklore warns against desecrating the grave of Bybid, a character from traditional rhyme, though uh, thought, be a, thought be an ancient witch or shaman who dwelt upon the hill. Bybin sees, Bybin knows, the eye and ear of owl and crow. In the green she sleeps, serene. We live our lives within her dream. To wake the witch, to steal away, you'll be dead by 
break of day. Oh, okay, was that everything? Looks like it. Oh, okay, good. So there's not too much to read. But then this one. I guess this one explained that who or what Bybin is. Bybin. Bybin is a character from Celtic mythology associated with the woods and valleys of Cornwall. She is the green lady of the woods, the living female form of the growing world, a contradiction to Herne or Cernunnos, who represent male fertility and the strength that binds the maternal material and knowable. Legend claims Bybin is buried in a, hill, a hilltop tomb a few miles from Wickwood, a small Cornish village that still celebrates her name in the form of a traditional witch, rather unfortunately. Her image tops spires, weather awareness, as well as warning away evil. A local dish made from wild fowl and stock is named after her, as well as a rather invigorating brew known known to re, known to rejuvenate the old and sickly. Offers to piping can include twig effigies, uh, quartz stones, prayers by care, cairns or the gift of metal, pressers and non-pressers, prompting some to believe the piping myth originates in the late Bronze Age or early Celtic legend, making her a significant fi feature in ancient history. Okay. And no more reading here. Okay, thank God. Because I was just wondering, oh, Jesus Christ, are there going to be pages among pages of more text to read? Not, not, not that I mind learning more about the history and the Bible and stuff, but... So, too much, it's just too much sometimes. Okay, so, we got the trowel. So, actually, before we end this episode here, let's go to the picnic area one last time and try to get the glasses out of there. We still have we still have to try to call the the security guy in order uh, in, in order to get him here and, and maybe help us get inside the um, this service station. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh wait, can I use the can I use this instead? No, I can't fish the glasses from there. Yeah, no. I still don't understand. How can we not use the travel or or a freaking crowbar to get this thing off? That I do not understand how is how that is not possible. Well, God damn it! What the hell could we possibly need to get this, get the glasses out of there, or, or get this grade off, rather? It shouldn't matter where I click to, right? Okay, fine. Fine, I don't know how to get the crate off. What what could we possibly need to get that off? Hmm, but then again, even if we didn't uh, know how, how to get it off and we got the glasses, the glasses wouldn't really help us with anything. We would just have to give it uh, Ollie, the nerd. But, uh... Before we end, let's think about this some more. What else do we need to do? What else do we need to do here? Oh yeah, we also need we still also need to figure out how to get how to get through how to get through this hole over here. How to get how to get through that? Or what do we have to use on that? Let's see, trowel? Nope. Wait, don't tell me that I have to use the the flashlight. Nope. Okay. I was actually thinking here that maybe the character maybe the character is thinking that hmm, there's too it's too dark in there. I, I need to use a flashlight before I go there or something else dumb like that. 
case. Nope. Oh, I already used that. And I don't understand how, how why we cannot use crowbar here to uh, to make the hole bigger by smashing the door a little bit and remove some of the wood out of the way. Assuming that this is wood. It looked like wood to me. That is a wooden door, isn't it? And we can interact with the lock itself. So we have to still so we have to figure out that. And then hmm. A rather crazy idea just came to my mind. Uh, so I was thinking that maybe we have to have to get up there because because there's a, there's an op there's an office up there. So I was wondering that how about how about we get on top of this car, then we then we lift it up, and then we and then we jump off the car, jump off the car to the uh, to the office place. But I don't think that's an option. I don't think that's an option. We can't even get on the car or anything. Doesn't look like it anyway. Can I open this? I can open these doors apparently. I guess they are rusted shut or something. Yeah, it was a crazy idea, but an idea regardless. Yeah, I don't think that we need to do that. And these ladders won't, uh, are not any good. Is there anything else that I need to do here, by the way? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. And then there is this. I thought that, I thought that they added this... Uh, uh, this schematics here. Uh, just for fun. There must be some reason for this. Green and yellow, or crack. G R E G N. Blue or black. Okay. I bet that's going to be important later on. Nothing here. Can turn that valve. Yeah, I don't exactly know what to do next. And we got this M. Hmm, maybe we have to do something with the with this MP3 player. Maybe connect it to the laptop. Oh yeah, but we still need to figure out the uh, password. Uh, not the. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was the password. We need to figure out the password to the laptop as well. So we need to figure out that as well. Yeah, I don't really know what else to do. So we got, so we got the whole hole hole uh, on that door that we that we need to uh, figure out, and we need to figure figure out what to do with that. And and we still need to get those glasses from uh, uh, from the from inside the grill, and then we still have to figure out the password for for Mia's laptop. And lastly, we are, we're still. I still have to figure out how to call the security guard here. So yeah, so those are the, so those are the are the, are the things that we are still have to, still have to do, and, and we have to figure out in the, in the next episode. So I'm gonna end this video here now. So thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Barrow Hill: The Dark Path.